Hi, this video recording will show you how to do inverse jet transform by long division. The video consists of two parts. First, an introduction to inverse jet transform. Then describe the long division method to find inverse jet transform. For introduction, suppose we are given a sequence, say f of k equal to 1, 2, 4, 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on. The number sequence means that when k equals 0, fk is equal to 1. When k equal to 1, fk is equal to 2. When k equal to 2, fk equal to 4. When k equal to 3, fk equal to 8. And then for k equal to 4, fk equal to 0, and so on. Then the jet transform of fk is equal to f of 0 plus f1 over z plus f2 over z squared plus f3 over z cubed, and so on. And in particular, for this example, we will get 1 plus 2 over z plus 4 over z squared plus 8 over z cubed and then the rest you have 0 over z4, 0 over z5 and so on. So this is equal to 1 plus 2 over z plus 4 over z squared plus 8 over z cubed. So if I ask you a question, if z or fk is equal to 1, plus 2 over z, plus 4 over z squared, plus 8 over z cubed, and so on. What is f3? Well, we can look at the coefficient on top of z power 3. Then you find that the number is 8. Therefore, we know the answer is 8. But most of the time, it is not that obvious to find fk. One method is to use long division. But what is long division? Recall that if you try to divide 475 by 3, what is this equal to? You can use long division. For example, 475, you divide by 3. First, you say 3 times 1 you get 3, then 4 minus 3, you get 1, bring down 1, 7, then you have 3 times 5, is 15, 17 minus 15, you get 2, then carry it down 5, then you have 3 times 8, you get 24, and you have a remainder 1. So, this method is called long division. It basically say that 475 over 3 is equal to 158 and 1 third. We can apply this to find inverse that transform. Here is an illustration of how to do inverse z transform by the method of long division. I have z transform of fk equal to 2z squared plus z over z squared plus 1.5z minus 0.5. I want to find the value of f3. Let's proceed to do the long division. So I have 2z squared plus z divided by z squared plus 1.5z minus 0.5. In order to get 2z squared, so I need to multiply by 2 first, so that 2 times z squared, I got 2z squared. So I can write 2z squared first, then continue 2 times 1.5z, I got 3z. So I write down 3z, then continue, then I have 2 times minus 0.5, I have minus 1. I write down minus 1. 
then I subtract. So after the subtraction, 2z squared minus 2z squared is 0, z minus 3z again minus 2z, and this is 0, so I have 0 minus minus 1 is plus 1. Next, I need to get a minus 2z from z squared. So the way to do this is multiply by minus 2 over z. So that when you multiply minus 2 over z with z squared, I get minus 2z. Then I multiply minus 2 over z with 1.5z, I will get minus 3. Then I multiply minus 2 over z with minus 0.5, I get 1 over z. Now I subtract. So minus 2z subtract minus 2z is 0. 1 minus minus 3 becomes 4. And 0 minus 1 over z is negative 1 over z. Now, next I need to get a 4 out of z squared. So the way to do this is, is multiply by 4 over z squared. Then z squared times 4 over z squared. I get 4. And then 4 over z squared times 1.5z. I have 6 over z. Then 4 over z squared times minus 0.5. I have minus 2 over z squared. And now I subtract. So 4 minus 4 is 0. Minus z minus 6 over z, you get minus 7 over z. Then 0 minus minus 2 over z, 2 over z squared. Next, I need to get minus 7 over z from z squared. So what I can do is multiply by minus 7 over z cubed. So I can do this, minus 7 over z cubed. So that when I multiply minus 7 over z cubed, I get minus 7 over z. And then continue with minus 7 over z times 1.5z. I'll get minus 10.5 over z squared. And if I continue, say minus 7 over z cubed times minus 0.5, I got 3.5 over z cubed. But that is not an issue now. I have already obtained the value of f3 now. The value of f3 is minus 7 because I can say that z of fk is 2 minus 2 over z plus 4 over z squared minus 7 over z cubed plus the remainder. And so f3 is equal to minus 7.